How to build an email list from scratch. This is the same strategy I use to generate 15K new high quality subs for a client in 18 months. And from those subs, generate about 500K in revenue for an online course. Now, the first step to building an email list from scratch is that you need to understand your audience. Who do you actually want in your email list? Keep in mind that quality is far more important than the size. I would much rather have a list of 500 highly qualified, highly interested people than a list of 500,000 people who are not my ideal customer, don't care about what I'm doing or selling, etc. So keep that in mind that yes, it is important to build a large email list, but we wanna make sure that we keep the quality first and foremost. Step two is understanding your ideal customer's pain points, problems, wants, and needs. You want to get as specific as possible here and really dial in on their wants and needs. Step three is to create a lead magnet that eases the above pain point or solves the above problem or gives them what they want. And if you're not sure on what makes a winning high converting lead magnet, you can check out the video that will pop up or if you're on the dock, you can check out this link right here. And yes, you can access this doc anytime you want down in the description below. Now we need to keep in mind that with so much free content, so many free resources, not to mention all of the scams and spam that everyone deals with on a daily basis, it's harder than ever to get people to give you their contact info in order to get on your email list. It no longer works to just have that thing that's like, join my newsletter, right? That does not do the job anymore. Now we need to persuade people to trade their contact info for our freebie that we are giving them. In order to do that, we need to make sure that the free content we're giving away is super valuable. A couple examples of common lead magnets that we use that work well, free courses, webinars and workshops, PDF downloads. Again, if you want to see the exact formula to creating a high converting lead magnet, just click on the video here in the doc. Step four is going to be to build a landing page with an opt-in form to get people to download your freebie. So we see an example here, basically just a nice clean landing page, letting them know what problem we're helping them solve, how we're helping them solve it, how fast we're helping them solve it, what other people are saying about working with us or how we've helped others solve the problem, etc. Now, the call to action is going to be to fill out a lead form. And you need to keep in mind that when creating a lead form, the more questions or the more fields that you have, the less conversions that you're going to get. So you only want to ask for the necessary information, and I mean the absolutely only the necessary information. Start off with just a name and email. Then you can test adding in phone number if you're going to do some SMS marketing, see what that does. Uh, but ultimately, the more questions you ask, the less conversions you'll get. Now, we do want to keep in mind, though, what we talked about with quality, right? So sometimes it's more important to ask some more questions in order to qualify those leads. So that's going to be on a case-by-case -case basis. See what your lead cost is. Uh, see what the quality of those leads looks like and find that sweet spot between a good conversion rate and the right questions to ask to get that high quality lead. Now, in order to do all this, I suggest using Go High Level as a software. It's going to allow you to do everything we've already talked about and what we will talk about in a couple minutes here. Uh, I use Course Creator 360. You can check it out by clicking here, get a free trial. It's a, just a white label version of Go High Level tailored to course creators, but you can certainly use it if you're in any niche or any industry. If you need help understanding the strategy behind a lead magnet funnel, okay, so you can click up here if you want to see what makes a good lead magnet and what those keys are. If you want to actually learn how to build out a high converting lead magnet funnel and the strategy behind that, you can click right here, check out my completely free funnel bootcamp, or you can just check it out down in the description of this video. Step five is going to be to build out your automation. So we've got our customer avatar created. We know who we're targeting. We know what their pain points are. We've created a freebie that's going to help those pain points. We've put all that information on a landing page. We've built our form. Now it's time to do some backend work. Now, when it comes to automations, there's so much we can do. Uh, we can build out so many automations at this point. However, the only thing that I would say right now is absolutely mandatory is that you correctly tag your leads. Tagging your leads correctly allows you to stay organized and automate your pipelines and organize your CRM. It's also going to allow you to automate sending any other follow-up emails, SMS, email blasts, anything like that. You want to make sure your tagging is on point. Now, 
There are a few rules I always follow when it comes to tagging my leads. These rules allow me to hyper-target my leads down the road for certain email blasts or promos. Now, I always do a lead master list tag. This is anyone who has opted in for any freebie. So let's say I have 10 lead magnets, uh, and they're all geared towards online business owners, but they're 10 completely different things. All Anybody who opts in for any of those is going to get my lead master list. And this is used if I want to go and send an email blast to all of my leads. I just tell it to send it to anyone with the tag lead dash master list. Then I always do a lead lead magnet specific. So let's say it's my funnel bootcamp. I would do lead dash funnel bootcamp. This allows me to keep track of tags relating to the specific lead magnet that people have opted into. So again, going back to if I have 10 lead magnets, if I want to send an email out to just the people who've opted into my funnel bootcamp, maybe let them know that I've added some new content, then I can go ahead, write that email and say, just send it to my leads who've opted into my funnel bootcamp. Then I also like to do lead interest based. So in this case, it would be lead dash interest funnels. So this way, if I create a new training that has to do with funnels, or let's say I have a new low ticket offer template that I'm using, it's converting better than the old one. I want to get that in front of anybody who's opted into anything that's shown an interest in funnels. So then I can just say, hey, send this to anyone with the tag lead dash interest funnels. So these are the three core rules that I always follow. You can get a lot more specific with all of these things, but I would say at the very least to try to do these, but do not forget to set up proper tagging, guys. This is so, so important. If you don't set up proper tagging, it's going to cause you so many headaches and so many ways down the road. Step six is to drive traffic to your landing pages and start converting leads. And real quick before we get into that, I have a full automation library in that free funnel bootcamp. You can grab in the description. It's going to go through how to set up all of these different automations. So that could be helpful for you if you're new to go high level. Anyway, step six, drive traffic to your landing page and start converting the leads. Now, there's two main ways to accomplish this. Uh, Organic and paid. So organic is going to be things like YouTube content, this video right here, Instagram content, FB content, FB groups. Or you can do paid ads. So meta ads, Facebook and Instagram, YouTube ads, Google ads, whole bunch of different ways. Now below are the top two strategies that anybody can do uh, for free or very little cost. One is organic and one is paid. The organic strategy, which is completely free, this is by far the best strategy right now, and that is Instagram slash Facebook comment automations. This can all be built out inside of Go High Level. Again, in my automation library, I have guides on this. Uh, But basically, how it works is you create a short-form piece of content, like a reel, that's value-packed and addresses your ideal customer's pain points. At the end of the reel, and in the description, you tell the viewer, comment a keyword on the post. For example, comment the word funnel below to get my free funnel bootcamp. Then it's going to automate sending them a DM with the link to your lead magnet. So I could post a reel... Uh, about, let's say it's the top 10 or, well, it's going to be 60 seconds. So top three mistakes uh, costing you conversions on your lead magnets. And then I could say, if you want to avoid these mistakes, comment funnel down below to get my free bootcamp. Someone comments funnel, they instantly get a DM that says, hey, I'm excited to get you my funnel bootcamp. Click here to download it. This will not only increase your organic post engagement to then trigger the algorithm to share it more, but it will completely automate your lead generation at no additional cost. All you have to do is just create content like you're probably already doing, give that call to action at the end or in the description or both, build out this system, and then you're good to go. Uh, If you need help setting this up, you can watch this video right here linked in the YouTube channel. I go over how to build out this whole automation, or you can check out this automation and many, many more in the bootcamp. Now, the second way would be through paid ads, and this is a super budget-friendly strategy, but basically you're going to run targeted ads on Facebook to your ideal customer uh, to your landing page with your freebie. Now, we want to make sure we have a conversion event set up to track our cost per lead and our lead source. So if we have five different ad creatives running and we get 10 leads, we want to make sure we know which ad creative is generating those leads so we can turn off the losers and fuel the winners. Now, at this point, you should have a good idea of how to start building your email list using this method. But if you want to actually see how to, first of all, create this conversion event, and then how I would create a simple, super budget-friendly meta ad campaign to fuel this, uh, stick around. We'll jump into that right now. So the first thing you need to do is set up a conversion event. 
So if we're in here in our funnel builder, when someone opts into my free funnel bootcamp, they are sent to this thank you page, right? Just letting them know, hey, you're all set. You'll get a login in email, etc. So if I'm going to run meta ads, Facebook and Instagram, I want to know anytime someone opts in from my ads. And the easiest way to do that is to create what's called a custom conversion that's URL based. So what I'm going to do is just grab this section of the URL. So right here is my website, Market with Mark. All my stuff is on there. But the only way someone will reach this specific forward slash funnel dash and dash automation and dash bootcamp dash thank dash you is if they opt in. So what I'm going to do is grab this. And I'm in here in my Facebook business manager. I'm in the settings tab and then under data sources and I'm in custom conversions. What I'm going to do is go add and create custom conversion. First, we want to name it. So what I'm going to do would be just test uh, YouTube video. I'm not going to save this because I already have this conversion created. Then what we need to do is select our Facebook pixel. So this would be current digital schools. Action source is going to be website. Event is going to be all URL traffic. And then we want to keep this as URL contains. And we just paste in that back half of the URL. Really, really important. Don't paste the whole thing. Just paste what is unique to this page. This is why this URL is so unique, because I've got so many lead magnets. I can't just have thank-u or thank you, uh, because I need to track each individual one. So just grab this unique section right here, paste it in. If you are selling something that's paid, so let's say this was a $50 course, I could go and enter a conversion value here for $50. That way it will actually tell me based on how much I've spent and how many conversions I have, what my return on my ad spend is. But this is a freebie. So what we would do is we would just go ahead and click create. Okay, so once we've got that set up, we can come in here to events manager. We can come in here to custom conversions and we can actually see the conversion. So we want to make sure it's working. So what I would do is just grab this URL, make sure that your Facebook pixel is installed here in your header tracking code, right? We want to make sure that's installed. And then you can get this Facebook pixel helper extension on the Chrome store that will let you know if your Facebook pixel is actually firing here. We can see mine is firing. So what you can do is just come in here, refresh this page, uh, and then go back to this page right here and find that and it will see that it's active. If it's not active, just continue to do that. Make sure any ad blockers are off. Continue to refresh it. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, but eventually you should come in here and see that it's active. Now, there is one final thing that we need to do, and that's going to be back in business settings. And that is going to be linking our Facebook conversion event that we've just created to our ad account. So this is going to be here in uh, data sets. So we just want to make sure that our Facebook pixel rather is connected to our ad account. So if you were to click on your Facebook pixel and you go to connected assets or partners, uh, you can go to assign assets and this will allow you to go ahead and assign your Facebook ad account. So just make sure that's all linked. So you should have your pixel, you should have your custom conversion created, and you should have your custom conversion firing. So now all we have to do is actually go in and create an ad. So go into your ad account, click create. I would always go with sales. You could do leads, but sales tends to typically convert the best. I go with manual sales campaign, click continue. And this is going to be super basic, super beginner friendly, right? Uh, this is assuming you don't already know how to do this uh, and you're on a tight budget. So we're going to name it. So let's just say this is test campaign, but just make sure to name it accordingly. Now we want to go here to where it says new sales ad set. And we want to choose our goal. So this is going to be website. And we want to choose our pixel. So current digital schools. And remember, we made sure our pixel was linked to this ad account. Then we want to choose the conversion event. So choose the conversion event that you just created. And now you are telling it to track for that conversion event. Here's where you can put your budget. So if you're on a super low budget, you can start at 10 bucks a day. Now, here is where we get into our targeting. So we need to, I like to go and do switch to original. 
targeting right here. So I'll use original ta audience targeting. And here's where you can put in your demographics. You can put in your locations. You can put in your age range. You can put in your detailed targeting. So if I was trying to get this funnel boot camp in front of people, uh, it may be people who are interested in, let's see if I put in marketing. So what I like to do is find something that's broad uh, and then you can go to suggestions. So digital marketing strategist, social media manager, right? Or we could potentially try, let's say I wanted to reach business owners. We could try something like business owners, but you get the idea here. Uh, and it's going to show you right over here your audience size. And then right here, you're going to have this gauge. You want your audience to be in this green section here. Uh, but anyways, go around, play around with that. If you want to define your audience further, let's say we wanted to have business owners, but people who are also interested in marketing, we can click that define further button. And that's going to define our audience even a little bit more. So go ahead, set up your targeting. The next thing we want to do is set up our actual ad. So turn on the ad preview. Make sure you have the right Facebook business page and Instagram account selected. Uh, the easiest lowest barrier to entry is going to be an image ad. So you could go here and add an image. I just create my images typically in Canva. So this image has been doing well. So let's say I wanted to grab this one. Go ahead and grab our image. And then all you have to do is grab your copy. So I'm just going to snag it right over here. Your copy is going to go uh, right here in the primary text. Your headline, right? That's what people are going to see down here. So if I want to grab my headline, where's the headline? We can put that right here. You can see you can add multiple options. Again, this is not a full Facebook ads tutorial here. This is just getting you... Uh, to the point where you can start to generate some leads for your email list. Uh, and then finally, we need to make sure we put in the right website. So I'm going to grab the link. Pro tip, always put the link at the bottom of the primary text as well. Definitely an easy conversion booster. Choose your call to action. So get quote, get offer, learn more, test out different stuff here, uh, but website URL, then you'd go ahead and click publish. So as always, guys, hope you found some value here in the video. Uh, if you did, go ahead, give it a like. If you have any questions, comment them down below or hit me up. My email is down in the description. Hope to see you next time. Peace.